Jimlini, Monica, it shows. Well, Ron, <laughs> which, good, Ron. which part you shows, know. girl? All right, I'm gonna. You are. I'm gonna bail because this is you and Rob's show. Yep, I'm Ron. out of here too. Uh, All right. See you guys. Ron, are you ready to rock? Oh, I think so. All right, look at Grumpus. He's still trying to figure it out. I'm just how, how do I get out of here? <laughs> just like this. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ron. How are you tonight? Oh, better now that I can get on. Yeah. Sure. Good. Thank you, Kent, for your help. Appreciate it. Yeah, I thanks, Kent. Kent. Yep. Ron, what are you drinking tonight? I got okay. uh. 100 proof Southern Comfort and Mountain Dew. Nice. Very cool. You said you were a, a, a deputy, a sheriff's deputy, or a, is that, am I reading from, that right? From, ni from 1999 to uh, 2004. Okay. That's awesome. That cannot be an easy job, man. Yeah. yeah it, crazy. It had its rough times. Yeah, I bet. I bet. So, Ron, where are you from? Uh... Well, I'm in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Okay. You always been from there, or always been in Iowa? Well, or? born born in Omaha. Then we moved to Richmond, Virginia. Then down to Tal uh, Dallas, Texas. Wow. And then in 1970, I've been in this house since 1970. Cool. Corey That's wants awesome, to dude. Corey wants to know who your favorite ne Nebraska YouTuber is. Guess he heard the o Omaha part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite I'm, Nebraska I'm, YouTuber? I'm getting a whole bunch of other people talking. Oh, interesting. It's just uh -oh. us. So. so I'm I'm hearing you guys and then a whole bunch of other people talking. Oh, he's weird. hearing voices. You know, that's yeah. a sign of schizophrenia, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the voices, the voices in my head don't like you. <laughs> that the fighting is uh i keep hearing chris and grumpus talking weird hold on okay is that you guys still hear me oh uh, we can yeah. any better better okay yeah any that's better. i because i was still i was still playing another you you're the, oh. you guys is deal oh. on a, so i had to x out of it I have to say that that's got to be the worst thing in the world is hearing Chris and Grumpus talking. That's just horrible. I can think of yeah. I can think of a hell of a lot. Nothing worse. But Chris did notice that you have a kitty. Tell us about your kitty. I have three kitties. That's so do I. Three, three dogs. You do? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, one, of yeah. names, one of your dogs is named Riker, right? Riker, my German Shepherd. Right this on. is Joey. This is Joey. He's like 16 years old. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. Well, Chris is going to be a cat man. You know, you're a cat lady. He's going to be the cat man when he gets. Yeah. The old cat man. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you. There's all three of my dogs. This is uh, this is Django. Oh, I love it. There's Gracie. And then that's Riker. Riker. Oh. Where'd Riker get his name from? Um. Well, he's a German Shepherd. And I just. Got on Google and looked up popular German names. Oh, okay. And a bunch of people were joking around. You should have named me Madoff. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to no, do that to poor dog. <laughs> we we had a we had a, um, a dachshund when I was growing up, Adolf, and then we got a female and we named her Fraulein. <laughs> oh my! God. Well, <laughs> I was waiting for you to say Ava. <laughs> yeah, no. <we> <laughs> So, uh, like I said, Corey wants to know who's your favorite Nebraska YouTuber. Well, I've got a, uh, I've got two favorite Nebraska YouTubers. Okay. And the other one's named Dan, also from Lincoln. Okay. <laughs> Corey probably knows who he is. But uh, because of the Chopomatic, probably Corey. Corey, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I love, love it when he does his Chopomatic. Nice. Chopomatic. Yeah, I have to check into this. Yeah, yeah. I I uh, I asked him the other day if he's a professional chef, and he said he was for thirteen years, but not anymore. Okay, interesting. Because I mean, all of it, all of his dishes that he makes looks like something you'd get at a restaurant. You know, huh. nice clean plates, everything's in order. 
Yeah. Yeah, it does that. Well, we went over your animals. Tell us a little bit about your channel. Um, well, Four Season Barbecue uh, came up, started to be because I haven't done any grilling outside this year when it got cold. And it, it came up because of Four Seasons. I cook all year long, no matter what. And then also, I always ask people, can you name the Four Seasons? So, can you name them? Salt, pepper. Ah, oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Salt, pepper, onion, and garlic. Garlic. I, I couldn't, I, I was thinking garlic, and I couldn't think of onion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because that's, uh, that's my four main that I like to use. Okay. Um, but, uh, and then S- plus, I, I cook all year long outside. <laughs> but. Yeah. S P G and O. Yeah. I always say S P O G. So, you know, if oh, you wanted you- to, you could, you could call it Spog. Spog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's funny. But, yeah. And then, uh, was it? It was uh, January 29th. I'm, I think it was January 29th or 30th. I met Kent in Omaha at a barbecue competition. Cool. That's what he said. And, uh, yeah. and I, I told him, uh, since I haven't been cooking outside during the cold weather, that I was thinking about name, renaming my channel to Fairweather Barbecue. <laughs> instead of Fairweather <Fort laughs> <Eden> Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he meant by who is the biggest YouTuber. He meant. I thought he meant like biggest as in tall or fattest. Oh. But he's talking about with the most subscribers. Oh, gotcha. Well, we'll come back uh, to that other, that question later on and ask you who the tallest <laughs> and fattest one was. So. Well, well, <laughs> when uh, because uh, Kent's six five. Yeah, and I'm, he I'm be six, loud too. Yeah, I, I'm I'm six two, and. Every time I take a picture next to Kent, I look, you know, you're six two and you feel short. That's that's not good. Yeah, you feel like a midget. Yeah. Yeah. And well, then Chris, I used to have Oh, go ahead. I was like, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh I uh one of my friends died a few years ago, but him and another one of my friends were both six six. Wow. And er- every time they would take t- we'd take pictures together, they always put me in the middle. So you know, they got these two guys up here and then I'm six two and I'm the little guy. <laughs> You're the runt of the litter, right? Yeah. Chris said he had spog in his shorts this morning when he woke up. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but uh, I, I thought something smelled funny. <laughs> yeah, I did too. It uh, looks like uh, Stephen finally showed up. Welcome, hey, Stephen. Stephen. Always good to hey. have you here. The moderator, Stephen and Jacqueline. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a great one. I'm six six three and six six and a half in heels. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's about how big Chris is too in heels. So I'm told. So. <laughs> Where can we yeah. find you on social media, Ron? Your channel. Well, well I, I'm on Instagram, but I don't know how to use it. I, I can barely get on the damn phone. This, you know, for this, but um. I'm on Instagram. Um, I can't stand Facebook, so I stay off there as much as I can. So YouTube. Keeping it easy. Yeah, yeah, yep. I yeah, like it. Yeah. Keeping it easy. YouTube. I like it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, man. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. YouTube I'm on most of the time and watching the experts. You know, I watch D Nimmin and uh Nick Nimmin, and they're supposed to be YouTube experts and they say if you want to get subscribers to put out at least two videos a day or a week, I mean. Yeah. A week. So I, yeah. So I try and put out two videos a week. Uh, you know, I scratch my head after watching this guy. <laughs> like, I know what they're, they're confusing as hell. Yeah. You're just like, what the hell? And what world yeah. are you living in? Yeah. That you can all of a sudden have, you know, a thousand views. You know, this is how you're going to get a thousand views a day. You'll be monetizing up. No time you're just like yeah what the hell? well i uh i watched this guy called brandon is brandon clark the garbage disposal he's a professional eater <laughs> that's, a, that's a shirt that i'm wearing right here nice. but it is is aka is duh garbage disposal and <laughs> this, this guy can eat at 18 pound you know 30 inch wide pizza like it was nothing 
And did I eat a, a 12 ounce steak and, and potatoes and a vegetable. And I'm, I'm so full. I'm, you know, I'm ready to take a nap, but yeah, this guy, this guy eats 18 pound pizzas. Yeah, you, you always see that those like really little people, like little, um, you know, I, I seen the little Asian gal. She's in an eating contest yeah. that she won, but she's teeny, teeny, tiny, and she's like shoving all these hot dogs and crap. And yeah. I'm like, where is that going? Oh, you ever notice they dip the hot dog in the water? Yeah, right. And they're yeah. drinking water at the same time. Ooh. Yeah. Well, the, the number one professional eater is a girl named Molly Schuyler. And if if she weighs 110 pounds, I'd eat my hat. Right. And I mean, she if if Brandon can eat something in four minutes, she'll eat it in three minutes. So do you think and that they're she, barfing afterwards? They're making themselves vomit because how do they go around after that? I, I, just, I, uh, I can't I asked, imagine that. I asked Brandon one time, and and he says he doesn't. But I don't know what other. God, after oh. I after I bought oh I know it just made how could you it would take me a month to eat eighteen pounds of pizza it hurts my belly just yeah. thinking about it you yeah, no kidding yeah. <laughs> but then the, the, I bought this shirt from Brandon and then I I used it in a video I used it in my uh was what was the video I made a I made a, a I think it's a cheeseburger and onion rings. And because his favorite food is onion rings, and and then so he watched the video, and I was wearing his shirt, and I was talking about him. So then he put on his social media, "Hey, you know, check out Ron's channel." And one day I had eighteen views, and the next day I had four hundred and wow, four hundred somewhere around four hundred and fifty just overnight, and and then I got <laughs> uh, I got ten ten more subscribers, and nice. So, <laughs> yeah, it was. So just for, for wearing his shirt, that's that's the only thing that you did different. Yeah, and then and then shouted out to him, you know, and and okay. I told him, I said, I said, hey, check out this video. I'm making one of your favorite foods, and so he saw the onion rings on there, and hmm. so he commented cool. on my video and did, you know, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That Even uh, cool. the other day, uh, I can't remember what video I made then either, but uh, T Roy commented on my video. And said he's said he's okay. been watching me for a while. I was like, "Holy crap!" <laughs> oh wow, I'll be damned. I, That's cool. I called Kent. Yeah, I called <laughs> Kent and I told him. I said, "T Roy just commented on my video. I can't breathe." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Scott. Uh, was it Scott from uh, Doctor Taste Good Barbecue? I think T Roy commented on one of his videos last week, and he was just like blown away. Oh uh, yeah, good for him. I. That's so cute. Yeah, yeah. I had Chef. Lou, uh, Lou, uh, the guy from here? No, 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 no. Guy who does the ugly, ugly barrel smokers, UBSs. He was, he liked my Margaritaville, uh, hamburger one. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, he's pretty up there. Chef Johnny, you know, every once in a while, that's pretty cool. You're just like, wow. Yeah. And then you get Chris from Eastman Farms who comments. like, (laughs) Yeah. Chris hasn't, Chris hasn't commented on any of my videos for a long time. Yeah, go, Chris. Might, he'll get might there. have to un- unsubscribe his ass or something. <laughs> I definitely think about blocking him. Yeah, <laughs> another another bigger YouTuber that uh, subscribed to me is uh, Greg from Ballistic Barbecue. Okay, nice. He he subscribed and he's been commenting. You know, not all the time, but every once in a while. Yeah. Those bigger, I mean, it's the. I find that the the bigger, the more subscribers I have, uh, which I don't have many. I have thirteen hundred, but you know, it just becomes more difficult to watch everybody's channel. I make oh, yeah. every effort. I always hit thumbs up at least, and I'll watch everybody's. Yeah. But man, it's it's tough. Yeah, you know, I'll sometimes yeah. have it going on one screen and on my phone. You know, two different people. Yeah. And you're kind of going back and forth watching, you know, and, and it's not right. I know it's not right, but. Yeah, I, uh, I always, you know, <laughs> I've only it's got, right. yeah, I've only got 345 subscribers <laughs> and I don't get a lot of, a lot of comments. So I, I have time to answer them. 
Yeah. So I, yeah. you know, I don't know what I watch. Kent Rollins. Oh, and, Cowboy uh, he's Kent. Got, yeah. yeah, he's got over a million, and he he still answers my my comments. Yeah, so I was like, man, this, yeah, this guy's got over a million subscribers, and he's he's answering my you know my little comments. <laughs> I love uh, Rick's thing. T Roy is the Tony Soprano of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's get moving. Uh, earliest memory of cooking. Oh man. Oh, I I didn't really. Oh, I, I started up my YouTube channel probably a year year and a half ago, and and I was cooking before that, so. Probably, probably two, two and a half years ago, was, you know, it was when I How started you, heavy. When you were a kid? No. No, my yeah. mom did all that for me. Did she? Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. What's your go-to no, dish to make? Oh, something quick and easy is always a smash burger. I like it. You know what I've been yeah, doing there. lately is quesadilla, that quesadilla hack. Man, yeah, I can whip yeah. up a burger in no time. Yeah. It's, and I, know, I, uh. I like doing the uh, the crunch wraps. Those are pretty easy. Yep. And, and so what like I did, you said on yours, you like the crunch, and that's yeah, that crunch was amazing, man. And so mm -hmm. that's what I go to every time. So now what I'll do is I'll just make you know like six burgers at once, and then just put them in the fridge or the freezer or whatever. So I can just take them yeah. out, and it's super simple. Yesterday, I went to the grocery store and I found this huge thing of bacon that was going out of date in two days, and was like <laughs> Gross. half off. So, no, it was so good, man. There was no green or blue on or anything. So I took it home and dumped it on my Cuisinart 360, cooked it all yeah. up and threw it all in the fridge and then uh, made up uh, 12 eggs and threw them into the fridge last night. I figured, what the hell? Already got the grease yeah. on the Cuisinart. Might as well make it up. And so for breakfast, cool. yeah. I had a crunch wrap. You know? Yum. <laughs> right. hey, yeah. I had a package in the in the package of bacon in the refrigerator one time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... uh Oh man, it was, it was probably in there a month and a half or so. And my wife goes, You gonna eat that? I said, It's cured and it's smoked. Yeah. It ain't gonna go bad. It's true. You know, extreme, you know, maybe six or seven months in it. Lots of preservatives. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how they did it before they had a uh, refrigeration. They just smoked and, and salt cured salt everything. The hell out of it. Yeah. Salt cured. Yeah. Can you imagine they're. they're blood pressure back then holy crap with all the no. salt in it <laughs> yeah Phew. i i don't know i don't know if you saw my basted eggs and bacon video or not mm -hmm. but uh but i i put salt on my bacon Whoa. And, uh, i i i love salt and and uh i always i always tell people i, I salt my salt salt your salt <laughs> i like salt it my salt. <laughs> i did that tonight uh kind of i put that johnny salt and then just kosher salt into a yeah, a pan, and it's just slowly cooking away. <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see. Uh, is there any food that you will not cook? Um, liver. I won't eat. Oh my god! If, if I don't, if I won't eat it, I won't cook it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I told my, I told my daughter earlier. I said, "Oh, liver and cilantro." I'm, I'm just like Chris. I. Cilantro oh, like you can salt. see that in the background, can't you? Yeah, you know what's coming up. No. Can I get oh, it? I'd... Hey. Uh, you just, yeah. Hey, 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 you just uh got another rank on the um Monica Coolometer there cuz There you go. I think you're way more cooler now. You're still 11 to <laughs> eight. You don't like you cilantro either? Cool. <laughs> you guys suck. I am against cilantro. Oh, well, yeah. you know, in moderation. But if I had to say yay or yeah. nay, I'd say no. And yet well, she's still my co-host. She's still the co-host. So what the hell? Yeah, I got You got to well, find balance, you know. <laughs> yeah. Before, uh, before I knew what cilantro was, I'd go to. A, we used to go to this uh, Mongolian grill where you where you make your own bowl and then you take it up. And they cook it for right. you. Right. And I always put cilantro in it. Well, I'd get back to the table and I'm like, why does everything always taste like soap? <laughs> and I was like, what? The, don't these guys rinse their dishes or what? Well, then one day I left the cilantro out because I want to try something else. And 
And I thought it don't taste like soap. So I went up and I grabbed a little piece of cilantro off their, their bar and ate it. And I was like, damn, that's the soap right there. <laughs> I, I can eat it now that I know what it is. Because mm-hmm. I, I thought they weren't washing or rinsing their dish, the soap off their dishes or something. But, gotcha. But I, I did look it up on the internet one time why cilantro tastes like soap. Mm-hmm. And they said there's, you know, not, you know, not everybody tastes it, but they, they call them hyper tasters hmm. because they, their palate tastes stuff that other people don't. But I don't know. That's a, that's what Google says. I must be a hyper peer then because, you know, asparagus in me. Oh yeah, the thing about asparagus. I I'm a, I love I'm asparagus. A hyper, I'm a hyper beer. <laughs> I love asparagus, but boy, the next day when you go to the bathroom, you can't hardly breathe. Yeah. You know what <laughs> I really like love this. is at, at the urinal, right? And you know yeah. you're supposed to have that that space in between. I had, and if it's somebody that I you know I love giving crap to, I'll just park right next to him, man. And you know, yeah. they, <laughs> it's so strong. Mine is like gross. Yeah. All right. Time for the next no, one. No, I don't know. I mean, it's the same thing for us, too. It's Stinky Pete. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite Pete celebrity chef? Dirty Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite well, celebrity chef? Haruna. Favorite celebrity? Well, I've got three, actually. Uh, and they're all named Robert. Um, okay. My very <laughs> first favorite chef was a guy named Robert Rainford mm-hmm. and he's a, he's in Canada and he's a, he, his show was called license to grill. Was it on and PBS he, or something? Uh, it was something like that. It was an off, it was an off channel. Okay. And, uh, he, uh, he had like four or five seasons in America and then for some reason he disappeared. So I looked it up. And they said that Canada wouldn't let him broadcast in America anymore. Hmm. And Weird. I was like, what the hell? You know, <laughs> so I, I bought all the seasons of, of his uh, shows on DVD, so I can still watch them. But I've seen them all about 100 times now. So <laughs> it's kind of cool you know. to go back and look at them, you know. <clears throat> yeah. I don't have cable anymore, but on Hulu, you can find stuff on the Food Network. Well, yeah, you can find almost anything on YouTube also. So. Yeah. But I'll Maybe go to Hulu and YouTube. watch something and go, oh, okay, that's how they did it. And, you know, yeah, mm-hmm. Hulu. And then I, I have Amazon Prime and uh, I buy a lot of seasons of shows on there. And then I watch them on my phone anywhere I'm at. <laughs> Man, like rules of engagement. Man, I, I've seen all seven seasons <laughs> of that probably 50 times. All right. On a side note, we need to ban Chris. <laughs> There's no way <laughs> in hell I'm going to compliment some in there watch at the urinal. That but I hilarious. like where you're going with that. It is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Nobody time out, Chris. Uh, you ever yeah, meet him? <laughs> exactly. Steven got timed out a couple weeks ago. I'm like, what the hell? Really? No, who, the, who the hell times out Steven? Steven don't do anything wrong. No. Yeah, he was having a good time that night. and Somebody... I don't know who it was. Took offense. They timed him out. Like, what? Get into some, get into some Jamaican rum or something. Or I know no, he's I not from Jamaica, but <laughs> I don't know. But then there's Charlie because Charlie's on here, and he likes yeah. liver. So, I had Charlie yeah. likes everything. Everything but Chris. He doesn't like Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Lantro. <laughs> hey, Chris Lantro. <laughs> uh, and Uncle Steve. I I earlier I meant to say hi to Uncle Steve. Do you use, you oh, use Uncle Steve Uncle shapes, Steve. don't you? You use his shapes, uh, right? I, a little bit. Yeah, I was, yeah. I, I've seen him in the video. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I am really digging right. that chicken, the competition chicken. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I made a, I made a uh, Alabama white sauce and used that CCP. Yeah. Oh my god! All right, yeah. but it isn't about me. It's about you. <laughs> are you using propane? or Are you using briquettes and the charcoal? Uh, propane on my blackstone, of course, and then uh, charcoal and wood on everything else. Okay. So one of my freebies this week, this week that I got since I last saw you guys, I always get freebies like every day. <laughs> well, one of them it was like really good. I got two full tanks of propane. Nice. Yeah. So I'm like, sweet. Oh, that's, that's a score. I know because yeah. I was out of propane. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. I, so, I, go ahead. Go ahead. You're fine. No, go ahead. No. I, no, the, yeah, the only thing I use propane on, well, I've got an outside burner, double burner. So I use propane for that and then propane on my uh, my Blackstone. That's it. Everything I want else a Blackstone. I'm going to get one of those. Oh, they are so, e so easy to use. Blackstone. Yeah, yeah. In, any kind of griddle, they're super easy to use and maintain. I'll yeah. call it the Ron Blackstone on sometimes. Too. I have a rod iron. I have a, not a rod iron, a cast iron one. But it's, um, yeah. you know, just one like basically you have to set over the fire. It's right. Like a, a camping one, yeah. Okay, so that brings up one. Ron did a ribeye over oh. his, in his fireplace. Yum. Yeah. That looked cool. Tell us about that. Well, it was one of them colder than hell nights, and I wanted a, a grilled ribeye. And uh, I thought, I ain't going outside. I didn't feel like putting it in a skillet. And uh, so I went out in the garage because I, I build my own pits. The only thing I've bought is my Blackstone. All my pits and grills are built by me. Oh, cool. And uh, so I went out in the garage. I found a piece of expanded metal, probably, I don't know, 18 by 24. And it fit in my fireplace perfect. So I just put a bunch of charcoal briquettes in the fireplace, lit them up, and put that uh, expanded metal over the fire to let it burn off any oil and threw the steak on there. And, and it turned out just like on a grill outside. That's a oh. cool idea, man. So cool. yeah. I thought All you right. were going to say you did it on a rock, like put a, a hot rock in there or something. It's only <laughs> in the Nevada desert. Oh, or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over by area 51. Rick's got a question for you. Yeah. Monica, sure. it's all you. All righty then. It says, how did Ron come up with his UDS Excel? It says, it's it's two what? It's 255 two fifty five gallon drums stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> well, I started out with the uh, with the regular UDS, just the one drum, and uh, it worked good. And and I thought, you know, the more distance you can put between your food and the fire, lesser chance you're going to burn it. You know, you're you're just gonna. You're not going to burn it when it's four feet above the fire. And it the heat has to go past your food because it's in a, you know, container. And uh, I thought, yeah, just put two of them together. One of them's good. Two's got to be better. Two's always better than one. Yeah. Well, it's just thermal, right? <laughs> heat right. rises. Yeah. And you, <clears throat> get enough, yep. you end up going on downstairs. Just like at yeah. Chris's house, you know, that heat starts bubbling downstairs. <laughs> And then all the hot air just kind of flows up. <laughs> and Chris, yeah. I, he, Chris doesn't have a UDS. He has IBS, by the way. IBS. Irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. not only yeah. interview Ron Knight, but trash Chris Knight, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then that, with the, with the double, double stack like that, I mean, it, and I, I, bought, I bought two of those uh, naked baskets from Greg over at Woodshed. And uh, I've got the the short, big round one. Then I've got a it's eleven inches round or your diameter, and twenty four inches tall. And uh, so if I want to just use this much charcoal or this much, you know, I can I can use what I want. But in that big one, it always seems like you have to put a whole bag in there just to even fill the bottom. But um, it works but it, it right? it's a it's a set it and forget it thing. That's cool. That's the way it should be, man. Yeah. <clears throat> so Bill wants to know what um, pushed you to start your YouTube channel. I just watching other YouTubers and seeing the fun that they were having. And and then uh, I was really nervous about it and, you know, getting in front of the camera and being afraid to look stupid. And so <laughs> one night I had a few, uh, few of these and <laughs> I, ah, I, the boy. I, I'm, I'm just i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna do it and in my earlier videos i uh i deleted them all but <laughs> they were terrible and then uh i mean I, i'm still not the best youtuber out there I, and i always tell myself in your videos you need to have more energy and uh i'd, I'd like to have half the energy of craig from behind the garage Oh my god! Yeah, 
man, that guy gets on her and it's like, boom! They like <laughs> Emerald I, I, Legacy. I, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> Bam! I, yeah. I love I love watching uh, Craig because man, he's got so much energy in his videos. Yeah. It's unreal. He was our first guest, and he was funny. I asked him a question. He's like, "What do you mean?" You know, he was just like <laughs> all, totally different than what you see. And then once he gets rolling, right? Well, you can tell yeah. once, and and he's on here, so he knows. And I yeah. never talk shit about him. The only person I talk shit about behind their back. No, never mind. Hi, <laughs> hi Chris, love you. I would never talk I, anything to anybody. I, I but, won't say his name, but his initials are Chris. Yeah, cilantro. <laughs> yeah, his, uh, his name rhymes with Chris. <laughs> yeah, rhymes with yeah. Chris. And cilantro. <laughs> but man, every, once he warmed up to it, man, he was just go 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 go. And I and I remember oh, yeah. thinking to myself, damn, he's got a lot of energy. Oh yeah, yeah. guy's unreal. Yeah, but he, you know, he, I have his. It's called I have passion. His number. It passion is. It is. He's doing, yeah. he's very passionate yeah. about what he does. And I've talked to him many times since, and it was, it's just so cool. You know, it's like, you can tell, and you can tell on his cook. So, but this is not yeah. about him or Chris or me. It's about no, you, Ron. It's all about Ron. <laughs> but you know what time it is? My union mandated break. Do, 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 do. Oh. We're going to do it. <laughs> We're going to smoke it. I could be taking it a couple different ways. You take it any way you want, brother. All yeah. right. I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. And, Don't tell uh, us what to do. You're not our real mom. I know. I know. I just play her. <laughs> All right. Be right back, guys. All right. So, Ron, are you retired? Is that what I heard? Or you're not? You just changed jobs? Yeah, I just changed jobs. I'm, I'm only 55. I, I can't retire yet. Uh, I know I'm gonna be true. I'm gonna be working forever. Oh, so yeah. what? What is your real job? What do you normally do? Well, since '85, I started painting cars. I went to trade school to paint cars. Been doing that, and about a couple of months ago, I got tired of it, and and. Uh, and see, three weeks ago, I got hired on as a FedEx driver. Oh, wow. well, that's really good. That's yeah. a good job. Yeah. Yeah, it's you fun. You ain't got think. boss looking over your back all the time and out there on they your don't own. They have cameras on their trucks? On the outsides. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you got one in the front and one in the back. And there, there's none inside that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In case of privacy. <laughs> <laughs> right huh well that's cool yeah i actually um, I, I i know a few people that work at the um in memphis at their head i guess their i don't know their hangar or whatever their main yeah. hub yeah 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 and the the van i drive it's a brand new uh transport van or tra transit or transport i can't remember but it's a it's four-wheel drive Oh wow! So I didn't know those these, were four wheel drive. Wow! Yeah, well, all, all wheel drive. Okay, but you can it. push it. You can push a button on a dash that makes it four wheel. It stays in four wheel drive. That's pretty cool. But otherwise, it switches back and forth. Yeah, well, that's so pretty cool. Stupid, yeah, these stupid snowstorms we've been having. The, they still don't let us drive in them. You know, if it's bad enough, they'll just say, "Up, oh, not working today." So you haven't but, had uh, an opportunity to use your four wheel drive yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I told them I want to do rural routes, so I do all the county roads. I don't do no city stuff, except for small towns. You know, I'll do those. But uh, some of these driveways you go down are, like, super steep out in the country. Yeah. yeah. And then it, it, it kicks in and out of four-wheel drive when you're going back up those driveways. I remember when I um, first uh, – it was, like, a I think it was a 92 um, Ford Ranger I bought brand new back in the day, and – um, I remember that you had to turn, you had to get out and turn the hubs <laughs> yep, <laughs> to go yep. into four wheel drive. It yeah. sucked. So if you're stuck yeah. in a mud bog or you're stuck in the snow, you're out there yeah. turning hubs <laughs> like a weirdo. Yeah, you got you to gotta turn the hubs and then pull the stick into four wheel drive. Yep. And... Neutral. Yeah. The whole thing was a nightmare. Yeah. So, yeah. I was happy to get rid of that truck. And then I got a new truck, <laughs> new truck that had the automatic hubs. So that's that's cool. Yeah. 
So do you like it so far? It's different than what you've been doing. So is it like a, you're still getting used to it thing? Cause it's only been three weeks, you said? Yeah, three weeks. Um, yeah, I like it mainly because uh, there's no fumes. I'm not breathing all that dirt and dust, you know, from sanding. And, right. And I, I go to work clean. I come home clean. Nice. And, uh, you know, I got... I got tons and tons of clothes that are all stained with, you know, get paint on your hands, you know, you know, and you come home and your face is all so like <laughs> spray painted yeah. around here. Yeah. Like. yeah and it, you know, that, this, this will sound gross, but when you, you blow your nose and there's eight different yeah. colors that come out. And, right. So I'm, I'm glad to be out of the body shop. Oh, huh, that's cool. Painting. Yeah, that would be weird though. Yeah, it going to switching. I mean, the professions all together. That would be it. Would be cool to do, but I'm just saying it would be kind of a culture shock. I think. Yeah, well, I, I I made a lot of money doing paint. You know. Yeah, you, yeah, they make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, you you, you can make as much as you want, or you can make as little as you want. True. I think that's yeah. in every job, really. Yeah. We were talking right. about his profession, what he does in. Um, you know, as a full time job, so okay, right on. Yeah, Fed- FedEx driver. He's out. Oh, you, cool. Yeah, getting the biddies chasing him. <laughs> All the secretaries. Oh, yeah. Did you see oh, the new yeah. FedEx driver? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. All right, we're gonna shift gears here a little bit, Ron. And uh, right. we know what inspired your channel. Other YouTubers, man, you're just like answering all these questions, man. Boom, boom, boom. I read them about a hundred times last night. It that oh. took me about an hour. Just, okay, what do I want to say here? What do I want to say here? What do I want to say here? Uh maybe maybe I'll go out of order. Yeah. Uh, mess you up a bit. <laughs> you know, uh, mess me up. Yeah. Uh, what's next? What's next? Uh what was your biggest challenge just starting your channel? Stage fright. And it was it was the just being in front of the camera and, you know, knowing that people are watching me and <laughs> I'm a, I'm a very low key. I don't like to be the center of attention and, but sometimes I end up there. There you go. I, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just stage fright was, was my biggest fear. Okay. And how did you overcome that? Just to, I was going to ask the same it. thing. <laughs> yeah. Just screw it and just did it and, yeah, just talking to certain people, and they said, "Man, you just got to get out there and do it." And then, and then, like I like I said, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that always helps. Li- li- liquid courage always helps. Yeah, that's why yeah. I have white yeah. Russian breaks in mine. Yeah, I find well, that then, people uh, go like, "Where's your white Russian?" <clears throat> yeah, well, then uh, that's that's how I figured out I like uh, fried calamari. Was we went to uh, this restaurant called Buca de Beppo's. And they had a uh, fried calamari and, and had a couple drinks before we went. And then when we got there, had a couple more drinks. I was like, ah, oh, what the hell? Let's give it a try. Fantastic. Oh, and uh, found out about sushi the same way. Thanks. I love sushi. I love sushi, but I had to get drunk the first time to try it. <laughs> to try it, yeah. Sounds like yeah. my wife. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, like um, Chris wants to know what your favorite gun is. Oh. Do you have a favorite gun? He's not a killer. He doesn't like guns, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I always have people oh, ask right. me, when when you were a cop, Nothing. did you ever shoot anybody? And I said, no, not when I was a cop, but before I was a cop, I did. Oh, wow. <laughs> but uh, then then I was carrying a, a Taurus 9mm, uh, nickel-plated one. Mm-hmm. And uh, now I carry my uh, my Glock twenty one. It's a it's a fourteen shot forty five. Wow, nice. But and I I'm <laughs> I'm not a fan of long guns except for shotguns. You know when you go hunting. But yeah. Uh, Bill I wants know. to know what Monica's hiding to her right. Nothing. <laughs> to my right, there is nothing. It's just a wall. How about your other right. My left? So our right. Our right would be your left. Um, another wall. I'm like okay. literally, I'm literally in the sunroom and it's a corner. So you're, so you're sitting on the toilet, in other words. In the sunroom? You call your, you call your toilet the sunroom? 
<laughs> the, the throne throne room. The so the sun don't shine room. It should be the moon room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, if you had to uh, do your channel, if it's let's say you were going to restart or had any advice for anybody, what would you give them on starting a channel, or what would you do differently? Hmm. I don't know, maybe buy a computer and get some real software and <laughs> learn how to edit. But Damn, you're good at these questions. <laughs> I, uh, you, know, you know that one's coming up. The editing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't edit. All I do is hit pause. <laughs> and I, I hate like, making my videos very long. If, if they get over 12 minutes, I start rushing to, or I start pausing the, the video more. Gotcha. Cutting out the, you know, you don't need to sit there and listen to a, you know, to something sizzle. Even, if it's even breaking, you do. Yeah. <laughs> well, then some of these guys that are these ASMR guys. Yeah. I can't, I can't remember this one, this one Asian guy. He was, he, it said on the deal that he started his YouTube channel four months ago and he already had 2 million subscribers. It's an ASMR. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's a bunch of weirdos out there. <laughs> He loved oh, yeah. that. So I, I was thinking about doing a, a video one time of like cooking steak and bacon and fried potatoes yeah. and fish all on my Blackstone and don't say a word. Just let the camera sit there and go, Shh. Seriously, they would dig that. I'm telling you, there's this girl. Oh. All she does is brushes her hair. She brushes her hair like real slow on his. And, and yeah. you watch it. It is so. I, oh no! I turned that off. I was like, oh, this is, <laughs> this is way. This is off the hook. The crazy man. But yeah. that's what they do. They like it. Well, that that guy, that Asian guy, I was talking about. You know, he'll 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 put ice in a glass and he holds it up high. So it goes clink 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 clink, <laughs> and then he'll pour whatever liquid in yeah. there. Yeah. And he holds it up so it's going. And he he fries stuff, and when he when he's chopping, he drags his knife real slow and. <laughs> right. And I I watched a few of his videos and I was like. People actually watch this. <laughs> they love and, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't get it. I, I thought Wait, about like, trying a video one time like that. But... I have two. Yeah. <laughs> I looked it up. I looked it up, and there's like a scientific, I mean, um, it's a phenomenon, I guess, that um, only a certain percentage of the population actually experience it, but they get tingles yeah. whenever they hear like certain tones or something. Yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. But, nobody, yeah. Ain't nobody want to watch this eat. It's yeah, <laughs> but it, it's just you know it's kind of one of those things you know like you most some people don't taste you know the soap and cilantro, some right, people yeah. yeah they like get tingles and they get all crazy over that. That's over Char the Char sound. Charlie always Charlie always says it's a genetic defect because <laughs> we don't because we don't like cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking we're right. <laughs> yeah, oh I, my um, god. It, Every, every time I eat cilantro, it reminds me of my childhood when I'd say a bad word. My mom would wash my mouth out. <laughs> wash out his soap. That's funny. Well, maybe, the good old that's, days, right? <laughs> maybe that's why I hate it so much. <laughs> but. Wow. Wow. Okay, so one camera or two or three? Just one. one. Just so one. The one I'm on right now, it's, it's a Samsung S9+. Plus. And uh, getting ready in a week or two, I'm going to upgrade to the, the, I think it's the S21 Ultra. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this thing's got a phenomenal camera on it. And and uh, this S21 is supposed to be, you know, make this thing look like junk. Wow. Mm -hmm. I have an old iPhone 7 and, you know, so the new fun. ones, man, like three camera lenses and you just like, yeah. what the hell? That's that's the way that S twenty one is. It's got three camera lenses on it, and and it's supposed to take very good video in 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 darkness. And yeah, so yep. I'm gonna find out. So so when you do, let's, uh, let me back up. How do you decide what's going to be your next video? Well, mostly. Uh, because I, I don't have internet uh, or Wi-Fi, whatever. Um, everything I do is on data. Uh, so I don't have TV. Everything I do is on that phone. 
Gotcha. And uh, I have no no computer. That's my computer. And uh, the reason I don't have Wi-Fi is because of COVID. I I was only making there for a long time. I was barely making eighty bucks a week. Oh wow! And uh, I thought, no, I can't do this anymore. And so I don't have internet. You know, I'm on no TV, no no, you know, nothing. That <laughs> my phone is my life. <laughs> Gotcha. And then uh, getting back to your question was, uh, I'll watch, I don't know, 15, 20 videos a day and, or more. And, uh, one of the videos will pop in my head and say, Hey, I want to make that. And then my, my kids got me for Christmas. You ever seen that show? Bob's burgers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they got me this. <laughs> what is it? Oh, that's funny. That's cool. Bob, it's a cookbook <laughs> yeah. of all the burgers that he makes on his show. That's cool. And, That'd be a cool and there's some there's some really good recipes in there. One of them <laughs> sounds sounds really gross. It's and they, they always they always make up their names of their burgers. And the one that sounds really gross is it's called uh Blondes Have More Fungus. <laughs> <laughs> burger about mushrooms. I was gonna say but, that, or is it the black and blue? Oh, sorry, buddy. Whoa! Oh, sit on the, the party cat? Fell. No, I I put my elbow on his on his tail when I adjust it. Uh oh. <laughs> sorry, buddy. <laughs> I, I'm gonna take a time out. I'm gonna go grab another drink. Okay. All right. I'll do that. Okay. All right. You do that, Monica. All right. How about editing? You uh, so you just you edit on your phone as well? Uh, I don't do any editing. No editing. Okay. No, I just okay. when I when I want to change scenes or something, I hit pause, and uh, then I go. You know, that when I'm ready to start, I unpause it, and then that's my next scene or whatever. And and if I make mistakes, I just I just play them. I mean, there you go. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. But, yeah, and then uh, actually, uh, Tommy from Gallery, he, uh, I asked him, you know, what he started out with, and he said Viva Video, because I, I couldn't figure out how to merge different videos together, and uh, he said, yeah, use Viva Video, and, you know, you just click on this video and this video, and then it puts them together for you. Gotcha. So if I, if I can't just pause it and make just one video... If I have to make several videos, then I, I put them together with Viva. Okay. So that well, was Tommy that helped me out with that one. Nice. Yeah, that's what that's what's so crazy about this family. You know, the barbecue family or the cooking family, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it, is everybody is just there to help the other person. True story. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody's just cool, laid back. You know, it's like yep, wherever it goes, it goes. You know. So, yeah. All right, so here's yeah, probably the most important question of the night. Do you know okay. Patrick from Patty Joe Cooking? I know of him through the videos. Okay. That's but, yeah, I love his videos. <laughs> <laughs> crazy Australian guy. Yeah, exactly. He's crazy. Is, is, he really your, is he really your cousin? or? Yeah, so this is what's kind of interesting is I was we haven't done, like, the, the, the test, right? <clears throat> you know, the spit in the jar test or anything, but. Yeah, uh, I have some pictures of my granddad that I found online when he was on a ship in World War II. So I sent Patrick a picture of that, and then as my granddad is in, as a probably about sixty, and Patrick replied back with pictures of his dad, and man, it, they are so similar in how they really? look. And then you look at Patrick and I, and I mean, there's some similarities as well. So and my mom's maiden name is Carol, and that's his last name. So yeah, it's really cool. Oh yeah, and, hmm. yeah, and and I know that my family went from Ireland to Scotland, and then to the states. And his family went from Ireland to Scotland, and then he still has family in Scotland. So do I, obviously. Yeah. And uh, then, like, his mom and dad moved to Australia. So. Oh so, yeah. yeah. So we just call each other cuz. Uh, yeah. You know, the only real way to do it is to take that the uh, spit test, but. Yeah. You know, to me, there's just too many similarities. Oh, yeah, Looking at right. the picture of my granddad as a young man and his dad, it's like, holy shit. The, the nose, the ears, the jawline, the hair, so similar. Yeah. 
Well, there's and the... then <laughs> go ahead. Oh, as even my granddad is an older man and Patrick's grandfather, you're just like, okay, yep, yeah, I you can see it. It's like yeah. oh, crap. The ears yeah. get bigger, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, my uh my oldest daughter, she uh one of her best friends way back when, I don't know, she was probably sixteen, seventeen years old then. She's thirty now, but um she had her best friend over here one time. And they were standing next to each other. And I'm like, holy shit. So I called my wife out in the living room. And I, I said, I said, look at these two. And my wife looks at me and goes, holy shit. And because they, they could almost be twins. Wow. And uh, so we got to talking and uh, her, her name's Frankie. And I said, Frankie, I said, uh, who, who's your mom? So she tells me her mom's name. It's a girl I had a fling with a long time ago. So, so, then, so then I asked, I saw her mom one time and I said, who, who, who's Frankie's dad? And she, her eyes got real big and she goes, mm, I don't know. I don't want to say <laughs> but her, her and my, my daughter, Rachel could, Man, they could just about be twins. The only way to tell is that 23 yeah. and me or whatever. Yeah. So Cor- then- Corey keeps asking, who did you shoot? <laughs> yeah. You a don't have to member. answer. A gang member. Okay. A, a gang member, yeah. Uh, buddy of mine, Corey might know the name this, where the street is. Abbott Drive that runs in front of Epley Airfield. And we used to go down there and race all the time on Saturday nights and we called it the Epley nationals and you get down there and you get raccoons out on my porch. Oh, how cool. (laughs) Um, you get down there and race and stuff. Well, the cops come down eventually and chase you off. Well, we gathered in this one place and a bunch of, uh, bunch of gang members come in and there, there's probably a, a hundred of us and, 20 of them, you know, and they, they wanted to run us off of their, their turf. Well, one of them stabbed, well, that one big friend of mine I told you about, one of them stabbed him in the back. Ooh, and uh, that's when he got shot. Good but I know the guy. Out. Yeah. I know the guy's name and everything, but I don't want to put it on the air. And, no, no, but no. I, and he didn't even yeah. have to answer that. Was, yeah. Like, well, it, it was, it was a self, <laughs> it was a self defense thing. It wasn't, Oh, absolutely. It wasn't yeah, me. Just, a knife you know. search for the shit. And yeah. The stupid thing is you don't pull a knife. You don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Hello, Dad. That, that, that's the next thing I was going to say, you know. <laughs> don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. You that dumb? Yeah. What? Hey, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, yeah, he's, he's the only one. How much research do you put into, so you decide your next video, how much research do you put into it, doing it? It just, like, no, me, just. Sometimes a lot, and sometimes nothing. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't put a, a lot of research. Uh, I just watch the video, and the one that I want to do, I'll watch it three or four more times and write down their ingredient list. And and then uh, I don't – unless I want to do a, a, a video exactly the way they do it, I don't measure. You know, I just, I'll just gotcha. sprinkle this on there, this on there, grab a pinch of that and a pinch of that. And, and uh, you know, I'm not – I'm not a baker. I I hate to measure stuff. That's why I always say that's close enough for government work right there, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not making a watch or building a rocket, so Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we know about your editing, we know about your ribeye. Tell us about the street tacos. The reason why I that was one of my favorite videos, and the reason why I love street tacos with cilantro. Oh. Yeah. Um well, minus the cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> I had to but, throw it in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I uh, this place I used to work over in Omaha, about a block away, there's a taco truck there every day. And all their food was fantastic. And I got street tacos one time, and they're marinated strips of beef. And it's not ground beef. It's, it's strips. And... Uh, all that's on there is uh, they give you a couple slices of avocado in your in your little takeaway box and 
and uh, a little squeeze of lime and and some pico de gallo. It's just simple and fantastic tasting. Absolutely. So then I I started making them, and then uh, on my fish taco video I said on there that my my daughter's boyfriend is this young Mexican feller, and uh, his his mom and dad are from Mexico, and John was born here. And, uh, so we go over to their house whenever we get invited because the Mexican food is phenomenal. I bet. And, uh, so he told me how to make the street tacos. And so I, I go, there's a, about a mile, mile down the road from me, there's a, a Mexican grocery store. So I go down there, I'll get four or five pounds of marinated meat and, throw it on the grill and then slice it up in real thin slices and put it on. Oh, they're, they're fantastic. And we just put some pico de gallo and a squeeze of lime on there. And Mm -hmm. they're the best. Simpler, the better, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, They're very simple. (laughs) And then, (laughs) and then my, uh, John is my, my daughter's boyfriend. He says, Ron, if you want to be a taco man, you got to cook your tortillas in the same grease, grease that you cook the meat in. So I just put them in there. I just put them in there, get a little fry on them, and uh, oh, they're they're fantastic. Interesting. But I, I've got a I've got an old shuttle bus that I bought that I want to turn into a I want to turn into a barbecue truck or food truck, whatever. Okay. But I need to replace the floor because the the floor is real weak in it. Gotcha. And I think that's right. what Rick's implying here in that question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did he say Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me- Mexican. So we're supposed to ask you about your food truck. And what did you just say? Mexican? <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> like the, the people from Mississippi say Mississippi. Mississippi. They, yeah. say they don't need all them S's in there. What the hell? <laughs> like people in Washington call it Washington. There's no or Yeah, Washington. 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 Yeah, my- and I'm my from Washington. Me, yeah. My kids give me crap all the time because every once in a while I'll say wash yeah. instead of wash. Dad, there's no R in that. Toilet? Yeah. You got to go to the toilet? <laughs> yeah, toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend that says toilet. Toilet. <laughs> I think, I think so, that's a redneck side. <laughs> yeah. Probably so. <laughs> so out of all the videos you've made, What's your favorite one so far? What did you have the most fun or the best tasting or whatever you just define as favorite? Oh, the, no, that's not, I didn't make a video. My favorite cook was uh, when I first got my 500 gallon propane tank made into a smoker. Okay. Um, When I got that done, I did my very first smoke was a whole hog. Oh gosh. That's a big job. Oh yeah. It, It was hours and hours but it, it was good but that's a big job yeah gotta bet that was fun my, too. my favorite cook video um i had i don't know <laughs> all I of suppose, them right? uh, yeah just, yeah it's hard it's hard to choose because yeah. i have i've had some really good ones on my my uds xl and and i don't use the 500 gallon tank very often because you know i'm not gonna fire up 500 gallons uh for a steak or something you know i gotta have a lot of food <laughs> on that one but i, I don't know uh, yeah well i made a uh i made an octagon offset and not not last thanksgiving but the thanksgiving before i cooked uh i cooked six turkeys in that thing whoa and uh Damn. i I couldn't believe I got six turkeys in there. What did you do with it all? <laughs> did you donate it or freeze it or what? No, people want me to smoke turkeys for Thanksgiving mm. and then hams for Christmas. So I tell them, you know, you bring me a bird and 25 bucks and I'll do it. And gotcha. So, so if only one or two do it, it's not really worth my time because, you know, I'm still paying for the charcoal and right. But if, if you get six, six or eight or 10, you know, 10, yeah. you know, 10 people, that's 250 bucks for a day's worth of work. You know, so I'll, just, I'll do that. And this year I had to break out the, 
the 500 because I I had a lot of turkeys to do this year. Wow, that's cool, man. That's way cool. Yeah. So, uh, how about shorts? Have you thought about shorts, or what are your thoughts on them? Well, yeah, I don't know. I'm I don't want to offend anybody, but I'm not I'm not crazy about them. I'd, I'd rather see the the whole. I'd rather see a long video so you can see the ingredients and listen to people talk about it. And uh, I don't I don't watch a lot of shorts. I've dabbled in it, but I'm finding that I don't really care for it. You dabbled in yeah. somebody's shorts. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not doing that 23 and me. <laughs> I, you know, I put one out just the other day, but I'd rather be on Instagram just taking pictures of it. Yeah. I, 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 I like the long, the longer videos where you can hear them talk about their food and their ingredient list. And I always, I always call my ingredient list the cast of characters or the supporting cast. And... Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 Uh, what does uh, 2021 hold for your channel? I hope it keeps growing. I know when you put on uh, when you put on uh, that I was going to be on your show, you had 343 subscribers. Right before I got on the show, there was 345, so it went up to today. Awesome. I know one of them was me and my other channel. So. Oh, is it? okay. Yeah, uh, the Adventures of Robovac. Yep, that's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> but still, I'm not going to unsubscribe just because of that. You know? And I, right. you know, and I actually do comment on from both. So if you see some Adventures of Robovac, that's me. Yeah, okay. I just forget that I'm on that one, checking checking shit out. So. Yeah. Are you the one where your Robovac got stuck under the couch the other day? In the cabinet. Yeah. In the cabinet. Oh, cap, yeah, yeah. Took off. Yeah, I've actually got yeah. three other episodes filmed. I just don't know what the hell to do with. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. And Patrick, yeah. Patty Joe Cooking's the voice of Robovac. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. So right, we're going to shift gears here a little bit, and uh, we're making a movie about you, by the way. But we oh, need to okay. know who who do you recommend. And we open this up to the audience too. Who do you recommend plays you in this movie? Either Zach Galifianakis or Kevin Hart. I could see Galifianakis. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, my, uh, John, my my daughter's boyfriend, uh, he told me tonight. He goes, "Who'd play you in a good part if if, if I had more facial hair?" He goes, "John Goodman." <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> so all right. Well, uh uh Bruce Willis. We got a Bruce Willis out there. Nice. Hey, I, I I would I would accept that. <laughs> Chris Farley. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, yeah, that would I be a little difficult guy. to do, but uh yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it'd be yeah. fun any it'd be fun anyways. <laughs> oh my Kim. god. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. That, that guy died way too early. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, Kent is another one. Kent could play you. So, <laughs> Kent, Daddy, that's Kent. <laughs> that's what Chris says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Chris says it, Chris knows, right? <laughs> yeah. If Chris said it, must be right. Yep. How about the cable guy? Larry? Yeah. Larry the, Larry cable, the guy. cable guy? Okay. Yeah. The Fawns. The Fonz. The Fonz. There you go. Hey. Man, that, that brings back memories. No kidding. <laughs> Watching Happy Days. Mm-hmm. So we, my next question would have been, but I know we've already answered this, have you met any other YouTubers? Yeah. Well, yeah, you uh, did. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, I, I have your phone number now. Uh, mm -hmm. Kent. Hank. I, I talked to him quite a bit. On the phone, I've you got must have Rick. got my number from Kent, right? Did you get my number from Kent? No. Have we talked? No, you, email, you you emailed it to me. Oh God, I'm sitting here one day and I see this number and I go, it "Says Ron on here." What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what was he drinking? I forgot, man. That day? I don't know, <laughs> man. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Rick, I've got his phone number and I talked to him quite a bit. Greg from Woodshed, mm -hmm. um, I got his. 
I won a one of those green dot thermometers from from Greg when he had his uh, his his uh, five hundred subscriber giveaway. Okay. And I won a green dot thermometer, and then uh, so he sent it to me, and then I I asked him for his phone number, and we chat back and forth quite a bit, and uh, Rick and and Kent. So, th- those are the, and then uh, Terry from Madwood. Uh huh. He he was oh, also cool. at uh he was also at Kent's uh, barbecue competition a couple Sundays that, ago. That's who's missing. I kept thinking somebody's missing tonight, and it's Terry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll hope everything's okay. Yeah. So meet meeting meeting personally be Kent and Terry, but talking on the know. phone you. Oh, Mike, uh, three Oh five. I, I, I talked yeah. to him on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. How about Charlie? Yeah. You ever text Charlie? No, I don't have his phone number. I don't either. Really weird. <laughs> he probably won't give it to me cause I hate. Cilantro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was an anti cilantro. No, was he Monica? Was he anti cilantro? No, I'm kidding. I'm no, Char- yeah, Charlie. Charlie loves it. Yeah. We had him and Steven yeah. on as our first. But since he's not here to talk up for himself, I'm going to say he hates it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, he's, he, he's, he's out there listening. He's just not saying anything. <laughs> he's creeping, creeping on us. <laughs> I probably talked to Chris from Eastman Farms more than anybody else. And apparently he got my number from a Turkish spa. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd like to have Chris's phone number. I'd like to talk to him. Uh, he's a character. Yeah. Remember the first text that woke me up this morning. Who's your guest today? I almost replied back, F you, Chris. Look on, <laughs> you look on YouTube. I was nice. Wasn't I, Chris? I was nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just giving you crap, Chris. But he, he was my first text this morning. Who's your Who's your uh, guest today? Ron. Oh, cool. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I, I got your approval, out. dude. <laughs> yeah. I, How I about... figured he'd say, oh, shit, I ain't watching that then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, now Rick says, uh, I got Chris's number from the bathroom wall at the highway rest stop. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pro- probably a line of them down at Interstate 80. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Iowa 80. Every rest yeah. stop, he always puts his number. His, Never mind. For a good time, call Chris. Yep. Yeah. I have a cat named Jet. <laughs> <laughs> and it's black. Uh, collabs or not. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I did. Uh, never trust a skinny chef. I did his, <laughs> uh, his uh, collab for his boy. Jane. Jane. Yeah. Um. Did another collab. What was that? Hey, but if you the want Charlie's one... number, there it is, <laughs> by the way. Charlie's number's up right now. He just put it up there. Oh, eight six seven five three zero nine. Now it's 1-800-F-OFF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the latest collab I did was uh, <clears throat> with the Kitchen Queers, the Meatballs. Meatballs, yeah. Risa won that. Yep. Yep, just uh, last, last weekend or? Yeah, so uh, good for her. I I thought about it, but I just I ended up yeah. having, catching the flu, and, uh, yeah. and it was not brown bottle. Mm. <laughs> so he says. <laughs> well, the, all right. The night I was gonna do the, do my meatballs because I was gonna do it the night before and do the video and then upload it today. It was supposed to be uploaded, but I was I didn't feel. I just felt like crap, so I did. At supper time the next night, I did the meatballs and I put them in spaghetti and sauce, mm. and I ate supper about eleven thirty that night, <laughs> just just so I could be in that collab. Gotcha, right on, cool. All right, this is probably the most important question, other than do you know Patrick? Uh, how many times <laughs> have you seen the Big Lebowski? Once, and it, it's it's funny because uh, John Goodman was in that. Yeah. yeah, and then, <laughs> I, then my my daughter's boyfriend says, "Hey, John Goodman could play you." <laughs> Shut the fuck but up, that, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I've seen it once, and it was a long, long, long time ago. When yeah, it first came out, I think that's what I thought. Yeah. Yep. 
All right, guys. Well, um, anything else you'd like to say to the folks out here? No. But, uh, you have any special messages for Chris? This is your last chance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd I'd give him this one, but it's been done too many times already. So yeah, he's so, let's, well. Let's that. just say Team No Cilantro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. yeah that, that, was, that was one of the questions that was supposed to be coming up is cilantro yes or no nope look he's waiting for it see that he's already, i've already put it down i can't put it down again he's got bated breath <laughs> waiting for you to ask him so well, i, I even did a i even did a video question. last summer where i uh one of one of my uh supporting cast members was going to be cilantro and I held up a grater and a bar of soap, and I, I started grating the <laughs> soap. The <hell>? I, was like, <laughs> I would I, have I was, to look at that. Yeah, uh, which one was it? <laughs> if if I, I'll I'll look it up and and I, the plate was off camera, so I was I was grating the soap right. on the side of the plate, and I said, and then when I took a bite, I was like, mmm, soap. <laughs> Coast to uh, coast. Mom, <laughs> yeah. mom, I said a bad word again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, you've been a wonderful guest. Thank you so much I for being on. Wish I could have got on sooner. Oh, dude, it's I should, all good. Should have took your advice and got on there at seven forty-five and figured out my problem to, before. <laughs> you still had to have called Kent. <laughs> yeah. Well, Kent, Kent called me. Oh, gotcha. he goes, he goes, he goes, Hey, how are you trying to get on? So I told him, he goes, no, 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 do this, do this, do this. And so as soon as I, I think he told me three steps and then boom, there I was. Boom. Gotcha. Good. So yeah, Kent right. called me and told me how to get on there. So. Well, we're glad that you could join us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, me too. I've been thinking about it all day. Couldn't wait to get on. And then all of a sudden it wouldn't let me on. Well, you may not be done. That's up to you because uh, it's the time for a union mandated break. And then uh, I'm going to do open mic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, open it, mic is everybody, anybody and everybody can come on. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. Uh, if you want me to, if you want me to stay on, I'll stay on. Please do. I ain't, I ain't doing but, anything else. All right. Well, all right. It's, it's break time. So all right. Uh, all right. get refills, go into the front door, whatever. We'll be back in about <laughs> three or four minutes and then we'll have open mic. See you in a few. All right. Yeah. All right, it's open mic time. <laughs> Anybody want to come on and hang out with us? Please do. Come meet Ron. Come chill. Oh, Lep's back. Hey, Lep, how are you? Patrick, if you have a break, hop on, dude. Patrick's probably working. He's uh, he's in the future, you know. Yeah. So I think he's 16 hours ahead of me. So no, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to meet up this year. Like maybe. Well, I, w I always make a trip to Alaska. I try to. Yeah. So trying to get Patrick to do that, and then like the next year I'll go to Melbourne. Mrs. Dude and I'll go to Melbourne. Shitter's fulls here. Hey. The shitter is back. The <laughs> mad shitter. What's up, Ron? Oh, not too much. It, that was pretty irresponsible, Mike. You left Ron here all alone, and no one. It was like <laughs> it, it was. Just, Ron didn't know what to do. It was like watching one of fucking pickles videos. It was like watching, <laughs> it was like watch, it was like watch, it was like watching paint dry. That's how bad it was. Oh my yeah. god! Like but the show just, is about Ron. <laughs> like like Charlie's videos, like watching paint dry. <clears throat> I was I was just sitting there thinking. I don't know if I'm on camera or not. So. Yeah, you know, don't don't pick my nose. Don't touch yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't touch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick yeah. Patrick's being shy. He can't show up. Yeah. Says he's gonna head out. So uh, what time is it? Yeah. Probably gotta go back to work. Probably just taking a lunch. That's yeah. I got I got a friend over in the UK and he's he's six hours ahead of us. Yeah, they drive on the wrong side of the road too. I know it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we were just, Chris and I were just commenting on Patrick's posts about driving on the wrong side of the road today. Yeah. You know, it's ridiculous. Steering, even the steering wheel's on the wrong side. How do they do that? Is that where we get all our mailmen from? Exactly. <laughs> That's where the mail truck from. UK and Australia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chris, you've been to the UK many a time. 
Oh yeah, I have family over there. Yeah. So you you know how to drive on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, I rented a I rented a Jaguar once. And uh yeah, I almost fucking totaled it over there. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that would be hard as hell to do. It it took a bit. I was there for five days, so on my, it was on my own. I was visiting family, but uh yeah, it took a bit. Um Corey, a, I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I've got a couple of real good friends that are here. They live here. They moved here 12 years ago from Pakistan. And they, they drive on the wrong side of the road, too. Well, yeah. It, it, anybody that was was uh, ruled by the British drives on the wrong side of the road. Except for us in Canada. Yeah. Hey, we got nope. our independence. <laughs> yeah, well, Canada is just because of us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was funny. I was talking. I was. It wasn't when I was on there for va- in uh, England for vacation. I was driving somewhere. I was in a taxi, and we were asking about certain things, like certain hotels we went past or whatever. It's like, yeah, the uh, the Indians own that, and the Indians own that. I'm like, yeah, must be nice uh, that you fucking ruled the country, fucking, or you ruled the world back, you know, in the 1800s, and when yeah. they. They fucking ruled the world, or they you know, the English Navy ran the ran the world. Not in the eighteen hundreds, is way back before them. But seventeen seventy six, we got our independence. Yeah, but you know, their navy ruled the world, and they conquered all these countries, and now all the countries mm-hmm. they conquered are now English English citizens. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, they're not liking that too much nowadays. <laughs> so I found I found your present, dude. Beer. Nice. Playing cards. Oh, that's cool. That's cool as hell. <laughs> I just now, yeah. now I have to learn how to play cards. Yeah. Surprise! I have to switch from playing from with myself to playing cards. Damn. <laughs> when I was a kid, my mo- my brothers used to um, say, hey, you want to play 52 card pickup? And I'd be like, yeah! I want to play! <laughs> 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 All the cards go everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Pick them up! I like there. Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em's a good game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Right. Have a lot better than Solitaire. Yeah. Yeah. Just about anything's better than Solitaire. Yeah. I, I played <laughs> Solitaire yesterday. I like morning. Gin Rummy, too. That's Did you? Fun. While you're sitting on the shitter? No, I, was, I, I had my porn on and I played Solitaire. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> While you're sitting on the yeah. shitter. Oh no! I was standing. I was right. I was like, I wasn't sitting down like this. I was standing up like this. No, <laughs> no, no, no cards involved. Just no solitaire. Card. Yeah, I had the tape. I had the tape over the camera so they couldn't see me. And uh... <laughs> that's so funny. What cooking with Corey said because I thought I thought the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> what Corey say? Oh, he think? said, "Did you take a target out while you were there?" I can't say. <laughs> you ever seen the I'm movie Employee a... of the Month? Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I, I don't think I've seen it. No. Oh, you've never seen Employee of the Month, Chris? Oh, my God. It's funny. you got to watch it. It has What's Dak Shepard in it and Zane. Oh, he was. Oh, they worked at like, like Home Depot or some shit like that. Yeah, Costco. Costco. It's a Costco, is what it is, but they call it that something. Was fantastic. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah, there's a line in there. He goes, yeah, I blew a three dollar wonder cooler all over the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so many great lines in that movie. It's like that and Office Space are just you know just movies you you have to watch. Yeah. Up, up, up set the building on fire. I, I'm thinking Corey Excuse might me. Excuse I me. think Corey might have been saying I assassinated someone, like took out a target. I'm not sure. Oh, standing up! No, a, a, a bunch of cilantro. Damn! What is your what is your muzzle velocity, Chris? Holy shit! You know, it, all, it all depends on how much I drank the night before. <laughs> oh, he meant yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow! I can't talk about that till uh, I retire in May. Okay. <laughs> Made. We're waiting on pins and needles too. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll have Chris on again at, in May. Let's see how much how yeah. different he is then, dude. When I, <laughs> right, I can't I can't wait. <laughs> give me a joint, and I'll be a total different person. 
Uh, I can imagine. Yeah. I, mean, I am too. I'm like Spicoli. Hey, man. What's going <laughs> on, man? Order pizza for class. Exactly. Did you order enough for everybody? No, Mr. Hand. And he's <laughs> passing out the pizza to everybody but Spicoli. I always felt yeah. bad for him, man. Well, I like when he said, my dad's a TV repairman. He's got an awesome set of tools. <laughs> <laughs> they wrecked it. Forrest Whitaker's car. Car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's his yeah, name. That's a... I can't think of his name. Yeah. Like when yeah. you take um, NyQuil and DayQuil at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his eyes. Yeah. yeah. Who, need, who needs a joint, right? <laughs> when you got that. Hey, they're actually yeah. they're actually talking about making medical marijuana legal in Idaho. Yeah. It it'll never happen. And they well, no. actually, I think they're saying it it would be, it'd be legal to uh, grow it and to give it away, but you couldn't sell it. That's like prohibition. Oh. It was illegal to do everything but drink it. You could drink that shit all day long. You, you couldn't make, make it, it manufacture, it, sell, it. sell it, or transport it. Or sell it, yeah. Yeah. So you can't, there's no medical marijuana in Utah? Well, Utah. Oh. Utah, yeah. That, Utah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, in Utah, there is, but no, no. But we're surrounded in states that do. Yeah. So, like, really, wow. everybody's smoking it here, too. Yeah. You just go across the state, state line if you live close enough Literally. and go buy it. Yeah. They did a, a, the news did a thing, Ontario, Oregon is no more than 40 miles from here, right? So 45 60 minutes. 60 right? miles, but it milk. takes like 40 minutes. Less yeah, it's all freeway. And so they went to one of the dispensaries there, and it's, it's definitely a border town. I mean, you cross the Snake River, boom, you're there. And in the parking lot, every damn car at this dispensary was had Idaho plates in it. <laughs> I know, like, I would think the cops could just, like, sit there and pick them off, like, come over the border, but they don't. Got to have probable cause. To just, you can't just pull somebody over for the hell of it, can you? Well, probable cause coming out of a dispensary. Yeah, but Idaho cops aren't going to sit in Oregon and do that. It literally is just, like, right over the border. Like, you could totally see it. And same thing with Washington. They've got a dispensary just right, I mean, within a rock's distance. Throwing, no, there'll be a federal. Distance. Over state lines, that'll be a federal thing, not a not state. Yeah, it would be a federal yeah. offense, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, which is even better. Unless they're on a federal task force and they use cops from Idaho and Oregon. And then you're Well, fired. this is like a major thoroughfare yeah. through here. Um <laughs> the, the cartel has like a what do they call it? I think we call it the something highway, super highway, <laughs> drug highway or something. But um, it goes up through what Arizona. First time hearing um, of this, Monica. What's that? First time hearing of this, Monica. It's funny how the Are you Mex- it's, it's like funny how over, Mexican like, knows about cartels. Last few years Idaho. In the news. Yeah, Idaho is like a what? It's like part of the the highway, <clears throat> the drug highway. I don't remember what they call it. Huh. Oh, now she does. Now she doesn't know what they call it. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I want to say it's like a minute ago. Uh, she knew all about it. Yeah, something, something <laughs> highway, drug highway, or something highway thoroughfare. Right. I don't know. I know where uh, where the truck stops are here in Iowa. They uh, and yep. interstate interstate twenty nine and eighty run through here, and uh, at the truck at the rest areas. There'll be a plain crow, plain crow, oh crap, plain, <laughs> plain clothes troopers will be walking their dogs because everyone gets out of the cars and lets their pets out, you know, and they'll be walking their dogs and, uh, their, and their drug dogs. And if they, if they smell it on your, if a, if a dog alerts the officer, they don't need a warrant to the, search your car. Sure. So they're, they're, the they're just wearing plain clothes and they're walking their dog and all of a sudden, rawr, 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 well, Need you to step Ron, out of your car, troopers. Ron, Ron, I'm calling that unconstitutional because I think the troopers' dogs want to do a body <laughs> cavity search on the guys walking their dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely some sniffing up the crack going on there. 
Uh, Corey wants to know, Chris. It's this question one. For you. That one. <laughs> this is my gun I use for fun. Pacino. <laughs> Pacino. Uh, well, Ron, you were a great guest tonight. I had a good time. Thank Thanks. you for being yeah, on. Yeah, I had fun. Yeah, it was a blast, actually. And I'm glad you got to make it. Yeah. Thanks, Kent. I don't know if we still are yeah. or not. Uh, who knows? Hey, Ron, is that, is that your back scratcher on your left? Yep. Nice. I got it hanging on a little nail and hey, that is easy cool. access. And this is a charger for my phone. <laughs> I'm lazy. I don't like looking for stuff. I want it right there. Well, you can choke yourself out with that, too, if you watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, start getting bored, man. I got to get some Wi-Fi so I can watch TV. Uh huh. Starting to yep. go cross-eyed, cross-eyed from holding my phone right here <laughs> with one hand, not two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> His left. <laughs> what? Watching porn? Where's yep. your other hand at? <laughs> my porn machine. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh man! Well, well, thanks for allowing me to bring the show down again. Yeah, uh, appreciate you my, doing that. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we always enjoy you. I told I, you probably heard. I told spicy. I told Mike. I told Mike. I said I wouldn't mind having Chris's number. I'd like to talk to him. <laughs> He'll give it to you. Yeah, you want me? I can. Yeah, I'll give it to you if he wants it. He can have it. Okay. Yeah, I'll give it to you, Ron. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, just go down to the local truck stop. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's right in the middle of the pisser. Yeah, <laughs> it it's inside of a, a target circle. In target <laughs> circle. Yeah. Or he'd be walking the dog. That's a nice watch. I'm not wearing a watch. <laughs> I saw that and I went, "Oh my god." <laughs> <laughs> Well, I used to love sitting in there. You know, you'd, uh, you go into the men's room and you hear one of those Indian dudes on the phone just talking away and they're sitting on the shitters. Blah, 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 blah. Man, I just start flushing the toilets, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Exactly. I, I, like when you, I like it when you talk to them customer service guys and they're like, hello, this is so and so from. Uh, Centrus, and we need to talk to Ron. And my name is Bill Smith. Yeah, oh, yeah right, yeah, Bill Smith. Uh -huh. I'm like, okay, let's start up. Let's start again because I don't want to start this conversation now. You lying <laughs> because we're not going to get right. anywhere. My name is Charlie Pickles right now. I, I would believe that one. <laughs> my name is Charlie Pickles. How may I help you? Yeah, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, Charlie, Charlie how are you? <laughs> I am the yeah. best IT support ever. I am Charlie Pickles. <laughs> I am in Colorado. Yes. I, I, <laughs> I am from France. We am from France. <laughs> the uh, the Conads. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Like when that, uh, remember that old SNL skit for Halloween? They were handing out beer. I yeah. did that one yeah, year. Yeah. yeah. You we did that one year. And we handed out beer and we cleaned out our refrigerator. Why did you I was, call me? I was probably about twenty years old, living in uh, oh. living in a fraternity. You know, you just here you go, and out you know those little Miller. Remember those little tiny Miller? Yeah. Here you go. Char Charlie did that when he was uh, at the sorority. Oh, did handing out yeah. beer? Yeah, when he was a sorority member. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The things you learn about Charlie on this show. I'll tell you. you know, don't, don't give me your phone number. I'll find out everything about you. <laughs> yeah, you know Charlie's regretting onions. that one. Yeah. I did caramel yeah. covered onions a couple of a few years ago, I guess. So. That was fun. <laughs> like an apple, caramel apple. Yeah, but they were onions. The kids were like, yeah. this is gross. <laughs> oh, the worst one was raisins. You get a box of raisins. It's like, fuck oh, yeah. you. <laughs> well when we cleaned out our refrigerator the next day man we had shit all of our front yard you know, a <laughs> carton of milk out there you know. How gross the neighbors uh, they had shit in their yard there you are like hmm. 
Oh, well, you ever see that that video on YouTube? That little girl eating a raw onion, no. and and her uh, her mom says that's an onion, and the little girl she's I don't know four maybe, and she goes, "No, it's not, mom. It's an apple." <laughs> and she kept taking bites of it. Pretty soon she's crying and can't. She goes, "No, it's not, mom. It's an apple." And she take another. I, look, look it up. Uh, you can probably find it if you put little girl thinks onion is apple. It, but it's so funny. I remember my my little brother grabbed an electric fence one time and he's like, Mom, oh. it's biting me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that the other one that video I like to watch is that little girl where the mom puts the uh, chocolate pudding on her. She is that poop? <laughs> <laughs> she starts gagging. Oh, it is a chocolate pudding. <laughs> I used to do that to a couple of girlfriends. But... <laughs> put chocolate pudding on. <laughs> yeah, you put cho- chocolate pudding on them and whipped cream and just uh, <laughs> strawberries. <laughs> do they call that a steamroller? <laughs> <laughs> better in a Dutch oven. <laughs> no, that's not better. That's so worse. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, just because I hurt your feelings doesn't mean I have to keep typing in these stupid texts. Hush. <laughs> Good night, Charlie. Uh, Charlie. That's funny. Tell, well, tell, guys, Charlie, tell Charlie to give me his number, too. <laughs> he won't give his number out. I gave Charlie my number a year ago, and I never got a <laughs> response. So. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. So I um so there's somebody giving away pear a pear like a uh, wood that uh, is a pear tree. Can you use pear for um, smoking? Yes, yeah. so why not? Yeah, and it's like, fruit wood. Half flavor, like like a, you would an apple or. That'd be kind of uh, cool, like it, on uh, ribs. I or think something. any. Yeah, I think any of the fruit woods you can use, like mulberry. You can use mulberry wood. And, okay. Because all the all the. Wood. Yeah, all the fruit trees have a lot of sugar in them. I know. Uh, okay, I, know tra- I was thinking about picking one, picking them up. Um, but I was like, man, I don't know. Pear doesn't. I don't even think it would have any flavor. I know yeah. Charlie did a video I'll pick on. It up and try it. Charlie did a video on smoking with uh, dingleberries. I think that. Was- <laughs> <laughs> Gross. The dingleberry tree. Yeah, you know Charlie. You know Charlie. Well, so I know like the best wood is a like, alder. Alder, but um, I wonder if like uh, like a cottonwood tree would be no, not not no. nasty. Yeah, it's it's got to be some some kind of a well, most hardwood? people say it's got to be some kind of a a nut tree, which are hard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> get your mind out of gutter. Like these. <laughs> there is excellent Fruit. That says, okay, I'm gonna go, go to I'm D's go nut go. farm. Yeah, right these these nuts. Sorry. Uh, fruit, Ma- maple trees are good because they have a lot of fr- uh, sugar in them. Right, right. Grumpus oh, says that right. pear is excellent. So. I'm gonna go pick this. That's up good. Again. Cool. <laughs> I've, I've been Got hard. getting some good scores on the the freebies this week. There you go. Use uh, <laughs> Bill says he used pear uh, pear wood in his last video bourbon glaze ham. Oh, oh, so that's, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, of course, Corey says it's got to be a hardwood, <laughs> hard hard nut wood. Yeah. <laughs> well, no cedar. Cedar's not a hard nut. <laughs> it's just a cedar tree. Yeah, but you want your food <laughs> tasting like a cedar tree. Well, that I always wondered well, if you, you could smoke, smoke it, with smoke it. it on, it's like a cedar plank. Cedar plank. Yeah, you can use cedar planks, but that's true. That's right. true. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I never thought of that. I have I have couple, I have a couple of cedar planks I got from the uh, supermarket. I haven't used them. They look yeah. nice. Miss decoration. Yeah. yeah, I got yeah. I got them like in a six pack. I think. Yeah, but they don't smell like cedar, really. Mike, that's the one your wife spanked you with. Exactly. That's why it's out here. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. My salt, my salt, um, my little salt plate is cracking, and I'm like stressed out about it. 
I'm going to keep using it, though, until it completely falls apart because I love it. I bought a couple of salt bricks. They're about, yeah. about the size of a brick that they like, put in streets, you know? Oh, okay. And uh, put them in the oven, get them up to about 500 degrees, and then put your whatever right. on there. And... Yep. I love it. Oh, yeah, I do, too. What the hell? Risa, I'm going to make those pancake wings. Pancake yeah. wings? That sounds awesome. It's got to be a Risa video. I know she put one out today, and I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. Would that be pancake <laughs> batter on wings? Then what do you deep fry them or something? <laughs> oh, is it the um? Is it the one where you like, uh, dip the ladle? Is that the one? Oh, like the one you used to? I don't know. I don't know. Is that what she's talking about? I, I, talking about? I know she put one out. She put one out Risa? today. Let's see. It came up. So, and I thought, oh, I so Risa, Risa said yes. All right, on. That's kind of a cool idea if you think about it. Like it. That that'd be right up Patrick's alley, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cook cook your wings most of the way through, and then dip them in batter, and yeah. Wow. Finish cooking them in the fryer. That'd probably be all right. Soaked in buttermilk. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Wow. That'd be awesome, man. Huh. Yeah, that I, that would I, be right up Patrick's alley with a bunch of other cool, uh, like cheese, oh, tasty, tasty we cheese. We don't, we don't want to know what's here. up Patrick's alley. <laughs> Chris, what is all in your butter, your butter chicken? Because I'm getting ready to barbecue some chicken here when I get off here. I sent it to Mike. I sent, I'll send it to you. I sent it to yeah, send it just to the other day. I'll 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 find that uh, the instructions that I sent to Mike, and I'll send it to you too. I Thank have it right here, Dort. Oh, okay. And send send Monica the uh, the ingredients for the flatbread too. Okay. That worked re really good as a, like a naan. It wasn't naan, but it worked great as a naan. So okay. like, um, is the same thing as my tortillas? Because I make tortillas. Tortillas? No. Tortillas. Uh no, butter. No, it, so you know, with the Indian stuff, you use a lot. You know, you use cumin, uh, tamarind, tam turmeric. Um, in non, huh? No, are you talking about non cumin, no, turmeric, and something in, in non, bass non and curry? Really real plain. It's like a plain bread. Well, no, no, the, the non is. I thought you were talking about the butter chicken, yeah. No, the I'm non talking about the butter chicken, too. Actually, a butter chicken, you put all that in it, too. It's two different, yeah. You know, the non, yeah, the non, if anything, to yeah. Uh, to flavor it, I would use like a garlic infused uh, olive oil and rub it on afterwards or while it's cooking. But Dang, but, stir fry. Yeah, yeah, it'd be something else, you know. That that that's garlicky. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah, it's got the stir fry though. But you just want that garlic. I love garlic. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Garmin Marsala blend. Yeah, garam masala. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Either Mike will send it to you or I'll find the text that I sent to Mike and I'll send it to you. And uh, Harita, she, thank you. Looking thank you. at it right Harita here. brought me a dish the other day, not too long Did ago. she? Oh, right yeah, on. it was very sweet of her. Um, like basically the week after we had her on. Yeah, she's cool. She's on my doorstep <laughs> bringing me food. I'm like, I like this girl. <laughs> yeah. And she'll do it. Too. Hey, earlier, she earlier you asked me, Mike, about. The inspiration for my videos. Yeah, I might. I might have to do those wings. <laughs> it, yeah, it's actually a really cool idea. Yeah, I think it is. Cook them about seventy-five percent of the way through, dip them in batter, and finish them off in the fryer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great idea. Um, so Ch Charlie Pickles says he doesn't use cedar planks. He uses uh, pressure. Um, pressure. Uh, what are they, what's that? Pressure wood. CCA. Yeah, what, what do they call it? Pressure, it's <laughs> pressure treated. Pressure yeah, treated. Yeah. Char Charlie really? cooks with. That's why Charlie's all. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> yeah. fucking crazy because he uses pressure treated wood to cook on. You know what CCA <laughs> is, Maya? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. What's that? You, you, you know what CCA is? No. Copper, chromium, and arsenic. Nice. That explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why that's why they tell you do not burn it for uh fire pits or your fireplace or to cook don't with. Let, don't really? let you do. Yeah. Man, it's got 
two heavy metals in it, and arsenic is poison. Well, see, that's the thing. Charlie said, fuck that shit. I'm going to cook with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, like you said, that does explain a lot. And hence, Charlie, yeah. <laughs> my, my next video. Today we're, we're cooking with chromium and arsenic. And copper. You copper. Yay. <laughs> Great. Yeah, isn't it? Isn't that, good. Maybe throw some nickel in there for the hell of it. <laughs> yeah. Some lead. <laughs> Put some lead in there. <laughs> some lead, yeah. Might have burned some. Might have yeah, well. <laughs> Just all he's doing is go and, and scrape the paint off his walls. Throw it in. <laughs> Got your lead paint and your asbestos siding and shit. Yeah, you just reach up there and grab some, some of that asbestos. Today we're <laughs> making a cancer burger. <laughs> Sprinkle it on your hamburger a little bit. Shit, you're good. <laughs> Shoot, I don't have none of this garam masala. I'm fresh out of garam masala. <laughs> Dang, there, no, I, love, them. I love putting that on chicken. Sounds good. I never heard of it until I looked at Chris's recipe. To be honest with you, yeah. Marcel, I've heard of it. Garma, I'm like what the hell? Garma Marcel? Yeah, mm -hmm. Bill, don't burn. Don't cook with your fucking deck wood. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. It, <laughs> the CCA treated wood is even oil, better after you stain it. Is not good to ingest. <laughs> yeah, especially after you stain it, right? Yeah, right. still got to be <laughs> wet. Hey, man, if you need firewood, that's a great place to start, though, is your deck. Yeah. Or your neighbors. Yeah, do a test run with your neighbors first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cut up a telephone hey. pole they smoke. Yes, they do. My grandpa did that once. I remember that, man. He, he bought some telephone poles, and he's cutting them up and burning shit yeah. with them. He was like, oh, my and that, God. Another you talk good about wood. smoke. <laughs> yeah, it's like burning <laughs> tires. Yeah. Another good wood to smoke with, too, is uh, railroad ties. Hmm. They're oil. <laughs> yeah. Creosote. Yeah. Aren't, they, yeah. aren't they coated in creosote? Yep. yep. Yeah, same thing with telephone poles, aren't they? Right. Yeah. Right. So they don't rot out. So yeah. Things will last 100 years. Okay. Yeah. Get that Get that good old smoke flavor. Just throw a tire in there. Yeah. You do is heat it up. Heat it up Talk and about just take your steak and run it over the top and get the oil off of it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Charlie mm. says, uh, this is why he doesn't give his phone number out. <laughs> well, you know, I put the link out there, Charlie. If you'd come in here, you could nope. you, you could engage. Yeah, Pickle said Matthew Modine. M Matthew Momine. 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 <laughs> what was that? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm thinking of something. Wasn't there like a parody, like a stupid movie comedy, and some guy was cooking like something? Uh, I'll have to look it up. I'm sorry. Sorry for taking up the airspace. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How dare you breathe? <laughs> Jesus, Chris. Damn it. God. We don't let, just let anybody on here. Damn it. Uh, well, see, Ron, now you, this is open mic. I mean, this is just the way it goes, man. Yeah. Okay, so Chris, no, are you marinating it in these in these spices overnight, or you, you're using it as a sauce to dip in? I actually I use it in both. So for the if I use chicken, whatever meat, it's usually either lamb or chicken, but just use chicken. Use a boneless, skinless, uh, like. Um, <clears throat> You can either use breast or uh, thighs, just a boneless skin, and I'll marinate it in a a non-flavored like Greek yogurt, and then I'll put the garam masala. I'll put the same ingredients in the marinade, but the marinade is based off yogurt. It isn't like a liquid, and I'll do that for 24 hours, but I'll put the, the turmeric, the, the cumin, the garam masala, and all that stuff in there, and, and the, the garlic and... Um, um, uh, but cream, you said cream and it'd be like a gar butter. Uh, no, I'll use a um, Greek yogurt. Yeah, you say that too. Is it, but I also use a quarter cup of heavy <coughs> cream and a quarter stick of butter. That's that's when I cook it, but to marinate that's just it. A snack on while you're marinating it. <laughs> no, no, when I cook it, 
no, when you cook it to make the to make the sauce, it's pretty much the same ingredients you use to marinate the uh, the chicken in. But the 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 big thing when you marinate the chicken, you're marinating in a uh, like a, a plain Greek yogurt or just a plain yeah. yogurt. And then I'll I'll use the same ingredients in that, and then along with the uh, so there's garlic and what's the other one? Um, Cumin. Yeah, no, Cumin, there's another garlic. Turmeric. Oh, what's the one? What's the root? What's the oh, ginger? Oh, so you don't even have cayenne in here, or you don't even have garlic in here as an ingredient. Really? Yeah. I'll have to redo it for you. I'll redo it for you. Yeah. But Chris, um, Chris? I, I think that's missing Chris. some steps too. <laughs> I'm. I might have been drunk when I sent it to Mike. <laughs> it, it looks like you might have been actually. <laughs> but no, it's it's fantastic. It, 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 it has the 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 flavors are very similar to to Mexican Mexican food. Except the only addition, I guess, you're doing is the um, the root thing. What did I just say? Not garlic, but ginger. 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 So you oh, get the ginger. ginger yeah. You get the ginger. You get the garam masala. You get the turmeric, and um, and there's there's another yeah, turmeric, turmeric. However you want to say it. Cumin and turmeric. Yeah, and then garam masala, and uh, there's right, another and another spice in there too. But it's fantastic, and you put that over some rice, and uh, man. It's good. That sounds you really mean, good over basmati rice, actually. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you use that 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 bread that you make, uh, that like flatbread type thing. Nom, you know, nom, 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 nom. It's awesome. Are you still making videos, Chris? No, I retired or the summer. <laughs> yeah, because I, yeah, I haven't I haven't seen anything for a while and. I've been yeah. missing. I've been missing a lot of lives because I don't ever get notifications. Yeah. So, so then I got to watch them later. Well, then it's no fun because you can't interact. Exactly. exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie wants to know if you marinate hot dogs too. Yeah. In, <laughs> in beer. <laughs> in beer. <clears throat> Boil them in beer. There you go. Good night, good night Charlie. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, you know, because I've gone to, you know, plenty of really, really good Indian places in England, and that's where you can get some really good ones, because, of course, the English took over the India, but yeah. uh, they use, like, star anise, and they use mm. some funny extra stuff, and they use coriander, which is their version of uh, cilantro. Cilantro. And, but they'll, they'll put stuff in there, and, and they won't strain it out. Even if you leave the fennel, fennel, yeah. Oh yeah, and it's very, it's super strong. Even the the star anise, and you, you're yeah. eating, and then you get a chunk of star anise, which is like monster licorice. Right. And it, it's like no, it just like totally blows your fucking. It ruins it all. But the the butter it's chicken, like your raisin, it, and your like cookie. Yeah. Not in your fudge. Uh, <laughs> nothing. Are we back to the nuts? These nuts. <laughs> they sell these nuts over there. <laughs> cardamom. Yes, cardamom. Cardamom. Well, uh, I'm going to have to try it. Well, that. boys and girls. I got to go to bed, too. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Hey, Ron. Ron it's great up. to see you. Yeah, you too, yeah. Chris. Thank Ron, you. thank you for being on. I appreciate it. This, yeah. is, this is really fun. I'm glad Kent called me and told me how to get it working. Yeah, me too. Thank you for your well, persistence. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, oh, yeah. for being on. Our guest next week is Marcel <laughs> what? from Little Fish in the Kitchen. Yep. Right on. What? That's cool. What? Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Hey, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Sounds Charlie. Like Sounds like that commercial that you said. What's up? What's up? <laughs> right, the water boy. Who there? Who there? Yeah, yeah. Who there? Who there? Oh, Charlie. I love that movie. I do too. My mama say. My mama say. My mama say. There's a devil. That's a yeah. devil game. There's a devil. The devil. devil. <laughs> Football with the devil. Little game. girls are the devil. <laughs> and the foos, foosball. 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 Fancy foosball friends. Then the donkey in the house named Steve. Steve. All I got to do is sit here all night and talk to Steve. Steve. It was just on the other day on, on, uh, 
Hulu. You know, they're talking about making it a part two, which is a shame. Really? They should. That is just. It, it won't be as good as part one, that's for sure. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah. It's, a, it's like Dumb and Dumber. Why, why did they try and redo that? Exactly. There was like yeah. two parts in that movie was funny, and the rest of it was just like, this is just shit they did in the first one. It's like Star yeah. Wars. Why did they have to do Star Wars like 13 fucking times? <laughs> right. Right. You know, <laughs> you know I, I, I've never even seen the. Fr- I've never seen a full episode of Star Wars. I saw the first one movie. in the movies. I saw the first one in the movies when I was like 10 years old. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think 77. 77, yeah. yeah. I was 10 years old standing in line in Richland, Washington, waiting with my uncle waiting to watch the movie. Jesus. Man, you guys are younger than me. I was 10 and 75. Okay. Well, I was born in 69, whatever that is. Yeah, so, I was born in 65. Seven. Jesus. I'm sandwiched in between you. You're you're the meat. I'm the meat. I'm the meat. The <laughs> Wait, Chris Mike. and Ron sandwich. <laughs> Mike, Mike sandwich. Yeah, I'm the fatty right. meat in the middle. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks, everybody. Say, we'll say talk yeah. to you Time next to week. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Good night, all.